Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. In this video, I will show you how to create your very first Google form and how to send customized emails automatically when a new Google form is submitted. Let's get started. You need to have a Gmail in order for you to create a Google form. Obviously, you need to be signed in to your Gmail and go to Google Drive app and then we're going to paste our first Google form. Click more and add Google form. <clears throat> we're going to name our Google form. This is a test form for purpose of this tutorial. And we're going to put questions on our form. Let's start with name and a short answer to it. And then email address and a short answer for it. Third question would be your phone number and a short answer for it. And then... We are going to create a placeholder for it. We're going to create a new spreadsheet and it is named, this is a test form response, responses. So this is the placeholder of all the responses that we have. And we're going to add and configure the ads on on our Google form with a use we're going to use simply send and we are going to install simply send on our Google form continue this is the process of installing the simply send ads on on our Google form we are going to install Simply Send. This Simply Send will send a an email notification whenever there is a submission on our Google form. So let's type Simply Send. Again, and we are going to install. Continue. Okay, choose an account and allow. Okay, waiting it, waiting for it to be installed. Okay, it has been installed. Let's do a configuration. Click the Simply Send adds on. And let's configure. So, we're going to add email address in here. So, these are the recipients. Whenever there is a submission on our Google form. So you can add as uh, many email as you can in here. I think there's some sort of a limit in there, but you can at least add two or more email address in there. And then the subject line that you prepare. This is my subject line, and this is the, the body or the content of the email. So this is in a HTML format. Again, this is in a, an HTML format and I will um, 
probably put the format into our comment section below. Okay, I'm putting the information in there so that if it is included in the uh, notification email, I put the uh, gathered information in the body of the message. So name, email, and phone number. And then save. We are done with configuration and we are going to test. This is the form and we're going to put some answers or response to the questions and see how it goes. If it is firing up correctly. Okay, put your phone number. Submit. I'm going to check our email, our inbox, and see if the uh, okay. There is the uh, form submission on our email. There is the name, email address, and phone number. 